Alright, what's up guys, it's Out of Order, welcome back to the channel, and as you guys can see, I got something really special to show you guys in this video. I can hardly contain myself again, guys, but anyway, let's launch up After Effects. I haven't been this excited to open up After Effects because I actually hate editing sometimes, but nevertheless, I got something really special. So After Effects isn't the special thing I want to show you, however, AE Juice sent me some of their products, and we're gonna take a look and do a review and basically just see how their products work. So as you guys can see, I already got some AE Juice tools, like I usually use Copy E sometimes times it's pretty useful however that's not the thing that i'm here for we got the pack manager for guys now without wasting any more time guys let's get straight into the review now even though AEG sent me all their products for free this isn't gonna have any bias in this review all right it's gonna be a completely unbiased review you guys already know how we do it around here now i haven't tried any of these things yet i only tried the vhs one just to see if it actually works and nevertheless it does work now before we get started if you're interested in picking up AE juice's pack it'll set you back 199 so so as you guys can see, it's 98% off. But nevertheless, because they sent me it, let's test these things out. So we make YouTube videos here, so screw it. Let's get down with the YouTube pack and see how this works. So I guess we're going to be making first impressions right now. And then later in the video, we'll like run down like an actual thorough review of it. But so far, these stuff look pretty cool. I like the live update previews. This is pretty similar to how some other packs do it. However, I do think this one's organized a little better because you actually can just go here, here. And then you got like all these stuff right here that you can go through as well. Okay, this one looks the most complex scene like out of all of these so i'm curious how this one actually functions and works so let's just download and import this one real quick and let's give it a test man okay so we got the subscribe element imported right here i assume if we just go in here we got all the settings to edit i want to know is there like anything i can import in here we got text right there we got more text right here i want to try and find a way to edit like the videos on the side though that would be really cool if we can let me go through all these settings okay so i found the composition this one's hidden but this is like the composition with like all the graphics and everything and as you can see there's a lot of different stuff in here but i want to find out where we can edit like the actual thing you know okay so honestly i don't think there's an easy way to do this it looks like you can like there's like some nulls and stuff maybe you could just get a video and parent it to the null oh it's a little disappointing i'm not gonna lie i kind of had my hopes up high for this one because i thought you know oh you could replace the videos and like create like a whole new like motion graphics you know of youtube but it doesn't look like you can do it with this template so it's a little disappointing but i'm gonna just close this anyway all right let's go back to this main little page right here and let's find something else we can work with 8-bit effects sounds pretty cool let's see what this is all about okay so we got some like overlays and stuff i thought they would be like more of like video effects that you can like add on to anything there's actually a lot of these look how many there are water ripples looks pretty cool let's try this out we're gonna grab that import it and we'll see what happens all right that imported pretty fast is it like an actual video or is it like oh it's like an actual like it's not even like a video like i thought you know maybe it'd just be like some like mp4 or mov it imports it's like full-on motion graphics like we got nothing but like shape layers which is actually really cool i'm impressed we also got some controls here too so we got the pixelate string posterized time as well so okay cool and i assume you can just change the color here yeah now another thing i like about ae juice's motion pack is they have everything in categories and there's a bunch of categories expanding like pretty much all types of vfx work so like let's say you're doing a podcast you know you got podcast visualizations you're making youtube videos boom you got the blogger pack you got stories on instagram or snapchat whatever you got the stories pack and if you're just making cod edits like me you got the analog and crt and vhs packs as well let's give analog glitch a try right here let's also download prism too because prism sounds pretty cool so ooh, let's see what this is okay okay there's actually a lot more than i thought that would be in here let's see wow Wow, this looks pretty cool all right let's um this one looks the coolest let's import this and we'll see how this looks okay so we got the thing imported right here we got the analog glitch stuff it appears to just be an overlay i don't think it's like a whole composition so i mean yeah it's still pretty cool you know if you just want some overlays you can just you know get an overlay and slap it on your project file which is pretty nice but let's check out the other one we downloaded i'm curious how that one looks so prism that's the one we got okay oh these are like light leaks almost okay i don't know which one to try man there's too many to pick from let's try let's see which one looks good let's try prism 06 all right let's see what this one's all about i like how they have a nice little visualization of like what your downloads at that's pretty cool too i've never seen any other pack do that okay so this is the prism we got so far now i'm pretty sure it's a transparent background is it no it's not a transparent background but that's no problem because you can probably just use a blending mode instead but anyway let's go into the composition and let's see what we're working with right here okay so that is a lot of more stuff than i thought there would be we got a bunch of different masks some gnolls a bunch of other crazy stuff so let's hide all that these are 
honestly some pretty advanced templates, you know, like I didn't expect it to be like this. I thought most of them would just be overlays, but the fact that you can edit all these too. And what's really cool about all this is that like most templates you use, they always need a plugin or something. Like even the templates I make, I always use plugins. Like this is all done in After Effects with just shape layers. And then just using basic slider controls, you know, you can get crazy stuff like this. Performance isn't actually too slow on quarter quality. As you can see, it's not the fastest. Like obviously it's not going to be in real time. However, other packs I've tried, they did pretty slow. Like there's some packs where I would just slap something like this on and then just render the whole thing out just so I don't have to deal with the lag. But this is actually workable. Like you could definitely just throw this in your project and just work with it like that. Because I hate having to render and use proxies and stuff like that. So this is pretty fast. I like it. Okay, I'm curious about the sound effects and I'm also curious about the audio visualizer. So let's just try these last two. And then after that, we'll talk more about the pack itself. I kind of like the way this one looks. This one looks kind of cute. So let's slap this on here and let's see what we can do with it. While that's importing, we need to find a song to work with. So let me see what I have. Okay, this song really stands out to me. You guys might remember this song from an older video, but we're going to see how this works on the visualizer. So if we go in here, um, we got... Wow, that is a lot of controls. I did not realize how many controls... Dude, that is a lot. Okay, that is crazy. I assume you just toggle them. If I turn all these off, what will happen? Okay, that did that did do some stuff. What about this? Okay, so yeah, you can edit a lot of these. There are way more controls than I thought. This is honestly some pretty advanced template. Like, I really have no idea what to make out of this. All right, let's get like white on here and then let's get like some pink in here as well. Okay. Okay, we also got an area to edit the text here so we could just call this song and then artist name will be sing. All right, there we go. We can edit that. Now, if we go here in this one, we got the placeholder image. All right, we got our placeholder image right here. Let's just slap it in there like that. And go back here. It should show up in the... Oh, that actually did a lot more than I thought it would. Okay. And let's just drag our song in there and see how it works. Okay, so this is going by a lot slower than all the other templates we tried out so far. So I'm just going to let this preview real quick. And then I'll let you guys know how it goes. While this is previewing, let me grab some food real quick. Oh, we got some Cheez-Its. All right, it should be good, guys. Let's try this out right now. Let's see what we got. Okay, <laughs> that's kind of cool. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, as you can see, the little bubbles are moving to the base, which is pretty cool. It is changing colors here and there, I think. I like it. I like it. All right, this is a cool template. And the last thing we're gonna take a look at, guys, is the sound effects. Where are they? All right, sound effects pro. Let's see what we got here. Oh, you just hover over and it plays. Okay, this is kind of cool. Okay, let's see. Toilet? What is in here? I don't even want to know. All right, just some toilet flushes. Whooshes, you guys love whooshes. Okay, as you can see, this is pretty sick. All right, a lot of these can be used for many different edits. We got clock stuff, cloth, characters, uh, package drop, paper. I don't even know, what is this? Yep, just crumbling paper, okay. So now that we've taken a good look at this pack and seeing how it's only $199, so let's get into the good, the bad, and the ugly of this pack. Honestly, there's not a lot of ugly or bad. I give this two thumbs up. Definitely, it's really good. It's really well made, really well organized, all right? You got this whole in user interface where it can like basically just preview everything right away. All right, you got a bunch of different categories right here. You can pick any sound effects you want. And then obviously the main part of the pack, which is probably the reason like 90% of people are buying this pack, is you got all these different effects and templates to work with. Now keep in mind, guys, I only took a look at like four or five or six of these categories. You guys saw how advanced these templates get. I mean, even something as simple as the 8-bit effects, I thought I would be disappointed. I was expecting like, oh, it's just going to be like a video overlay, you know, it's just going to be an MO v or mp4 no nah, it's like actual shapers that you can edit you have full control over pretty much a majority of all these packs the only one that we looked at that didn't have that was the glitch but that makes sense because like you know these are some pretty crazy overlays but yeah but nevertheless there's still so much you can do with this and it's honestly just completely unreal because like two years ago i was seriously even considering buying the blogger pack because i'm tired of using like the same social media overlays but actually having it like in my hands able to just take a look at it it's pretty useful all right there's so much you can do with all these. The performance also isn't even that bad too. Like I was honestly expecting like, oh, maybe it'll be like really laggy. I mean, the visualizer did take longer than I hoped for. But I mean, as you guys can see, there were so many different control settings. There was so much different stuff. And obviously all visualizers are usually really slow because it's working with audio. But nevertheless, it's still really impressive. And the fact that there's just a ton of packs for pretty much everything. I mean, if I was to name all these packs individually, like in a row, it would probably take me like three minutes to do that. And that's just three minutes of my time while all of these 
all contain different templates with like hundreds of different layers and honestly for $1.99 this is honestly a complete steal and I genuinely do like it. So should you buy this pack? Me personally I don't think I would spend the $1.99 on like all of these. However I do think there's some packs I would definitely probably consider picking up. However if you want all of this I definitely do recommend it because honestly you're just getting so much different content for that price tag of $1.99 and I genuinely do think it's a pretty good deal. So to answer the final question of the video is this pack worth it yeah i'd say it's worth it it's pretty good but nevertheless guys that's the end of the video thank you guys so much for watching leave a like if you enjoyed subscribe if you're new guys i make videos on editing and all sorts of other cool stuff my social medias like twitter instagram and discord will all be in the description down below as well as my editing pack so if you want to buy my presets project files and overlays you can go take a look at it down below but once again thank you guys so much for watching this video and i'll catch you guys in the next one boys peace out I got bribes in the London, just to go be in the family Credit cards in the scammers, hitting the licks in the van Legacies, family, way and see, look like a panda Going out like a Montana, honey killers on the helmets Legacies, family, way and see, family Huggies won't